huge welcome to this video I'm scorpion from how to do and today you guys will be learning how to make parkour system in unity using the playmaker system so in the previous video we were able to make the climbing system uh, let me just quickly show you how it looks like so this was what we made in the previous video but in this video we will be learning how to make this kind of sliding system so that we can slide under these these holes kind of things uh, like this all right so how to make this and I am actually continuing my previous uh, series of GTA series so if you haven't seen them yet go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see them first so you will you will learn how to make this kind of uh, awesome guy who can run around walk around and do that stuff and this was what we may uh, which and this was uh, what I have made in my previous videos uh, the terrain over here so yeah I will pretty soon uh, release the tutorial on how to make this kind of cool plus big terrain with this water over here and this is what it looks like from the top so this was what we made so yeah let's just jump back to the uh, tutorial scene so yeah this was the scene which we were working in the previous video so let me just quickly show you guys exactly what we made in the previous video uh, there we go we can climb up this thing over here all right and but we cannot climb up these white things because they do not have the tag of climbing all right so yeah let's get started so uh, first thing first you have to have some kind of animation for the sliding system uh, I have this running slide I have this kind of thing over here so I got this from mixmo.com uh, this one right here okay and you have to say slide Uh, not slowed it's slight dark in here cannot see the keyboard so I used this running slide over here uh, this one alright so if you don't know how to use this mixmo site you can just go ahead and click the link in the description box below and see my tutorial on how to use this site and just uh, use that and then you have to select this guy and download it and then import it inside unity which will look something like this you have to go to rig and set it to humanoid and then go to animations and check mark these two only first two uh, root trans uh, transform rotation and root transform position all right and then go back to your animator which we made in the previous video uh, like this one this is the walk uh, walk uh, wall climbing sorry wall climbing and you have to let me just go ahead and make transition from here so make it clear drag and drop your running slide in here you have to say slide rename it to slide all right and just go ahead and make transition to run I will I will tell you guys why because we want to do uh, if you're thinking what this thing <laughs> what this is right here because I don't know why that happens sometime that happens and it was it, it had happened in the previous video too so yeah not to worry I will fix it sometime uh, I hadn't I had uh, I did not had any time to fix that so okay so uh, what we want is we want to slide when we are actually running we don't want to slide when we are standing or when we are walking because we need some kind of momentum to do the slide all right uh, this was what we made in the previous video this was the FSM which we have been making in the previous videos so if you want to learn how to make this whole thing you can walk run you can do the wall climbing you can punch then you can equip the weapon you can walk with the uh, walk with the rifle you can idle with the rifle you can run with the rifle then you can aim with the rifle and you can fire with the rifle so this was what we made in the previous video uh, but in this video we will be learning how to make the sliding system so uh, so of course we want to do the slide when we are running so we will go ahead and say get button down control c control v the same one and we want to set up a button because uh, as we have set this uh, wc which means wall climbing button so you have to go to edit project settings input and you have to increase this guy with one like in here it is 23 so i will just say 24 there we go there's an extra one over here so let's just say slide I have done red already over here as you can see uh, but I'm doing it again for you guys to understand so I want the guy to slide when we press F so let's just set it to F F F 
all right and then we'll come back to the player edit edit hey what's that edit there we go and we will say running and slide and we want to go to new event and we will say slide so whenever we press the F button which is called slide we will go to slide simple as it sounds we'll go ahead and add transition of slide add a new state there we go and I will call this state sliding sliding and we will do the same thing as we have done in the previous videos animator crossfade cross sorry animator crossfade and we will check the name of the state it is called the slide as you can see over here so we will say slide transition duration to point one so that it gets right into the slide and we want to say wait wait for let's just see the how much time it gets so it's one so let's just say one second and then we're gonna go to finished and come back to running I will increase it to 1.5 or 1.3 so let's see that if it works or not so I'm walking and press F he does not do anything I'm standing and pressing F nothing happens but I when I run and press F he does that actually slide and yeah it's working actually he comes back and yeah it, it's looking awesome there we go he's sliding it's actually working guys so let's just go ahead and uh, add, add something some kind of sliding system uh, so quickly make something to slide under I guess this will be okay uh, say control D and if I press play and if I try to slide under this slot he won't do it I knew he won't do it <laughs> because let me just quickly show you what is actually happening over here so let me just go ahead and select my player double F to focus on it and if I play now and just see this guy what happens to him when he press over here you can see he actually goes inside over there but uh, the character controller is actually the same position so and same height so that does not change and uh, that guy gets stuck in there so we have to change that a little bit so let me just go ahead and select my player bring it close to this hole press F on him and now we will see uh, from here or we can do that else uh, we want to slide under this right so let me just go ahead and make it a little short that's great so we want the character controller of this guy to be this much small alright so we want to convert it to smaller thing so we can do that simply by going in here and when we are in slide we want to say set property set property of the character controller so drag and drop the character controller in here and we want to say uh, height as you can see over here we want to change the height to zero and we want to say control c control v as you can see if i change the height to zero it gets in the center but we don't want that we want it to be somewhere over here uh, 0.5 so if i set the center uh, where is center center y to 0.5 0 0.5 so there we go uh, but I have to change so control Z over here there we go and oh 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 <laughs> oh, oh okay there we go uh, Control C, Control V. I have undo a little bit. 
so I have to do it again. So point five will be good. All right. So now we have to just go ahead and copy these two and paste these two inside over here. And hey, where's the second one? Select this one also. Control C, paste it over here. And we want to set the height to normal one, which is 1.74. So 1.74. And we want to set the center to 0.9. There we go. And that will actually kind of work. So bring it little back. And then you can see he actually gets right under this hole. There we go. And if I try to do that here, he cannot do that, of course, because there's no, uh, no place to get out of there. So this was the sliding system. Let me just quickly show you what is happening over here. Uh, there we go. And you will see that the position and the height of this guy will change the character controller. There you can see the character controller is now small. There we go. This is the character controller. And that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, then subscribe to my channel, which is how to do. And if you want, you can also go ahead and donate me some money through PayPal. Uh, that will be really awesome. And other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, be cool.